before we discuss the transformation of functions let us look at the graph of some basic parent functions I'm taking example of two groups of functions the first group has y equals x y equals x to the 3 y equals x to the 5 y equals x to the 7 if you notice carefully you can see the exponent here is 1 then 3 then 5 then 7 so if you have odd exponents or odd order of functions or degree you will have one pattern and then if you have even like x squared x to the 4 x to the 6 x to the 8 so on then this type will have different pattern so let us look at the graph of y equals x in the calculator so we type in our graphing mode y equals x and let us take the regular standard window negative 10 to 10 for x and negative 10 to 10 for y so you go zoom 6 that will give you the standard one so this is the equation of straight line now and you can see the right hand side goes to positive infinity when x approaches positive infinity the left side goes to negative infinity when x goes to negative infinity the domain is all real numbers and range is also all real numbers now we'll change it to x to the 3 and we'll see the same behavior so we type x to the 3 and then graph it you can see almost same behavior left side goes down all the way the right side goes up all the way so the domain will be all real numbers and range also all real numbers negative infinity to positive infinity okay now we'll check even order function look at the graph of x squared so when x approaches to negative infinity y goes to positive infinity x approaches to positive infinity y goes to positive infinity in the same direction and it has minimum value here so the parent function for x squared will be like this which is known as a parabola and then if you have x to the 4 this will be very similar but it will be a little more flattened so let us look at that graph so next i am taking x to the 4 see the graph it's a little more flat, flattened but same behavior so you need to remember those parent functions now we'll be talking about transformation first we have y equals x plus 3 so the parent function is y equals x so in your graph y equals x is the graph here we have seen already and now it says 3 added with the function so that means the graph you can think of like 3 units up vertically so your graph will look like this but if you consider this function like y equals say that in terms of x you want to talk that in terms of x you want to discuss the transformation then you can see that the function is going three units to the left you can have same like this three units to the left but when it goes with the exponents it will be a little different so let us look at in our graphing calculator y equals x is my parent function and we know the graph of that one now this one if we consider that it is going three units upward then the second one is showing the transformation from the first one so let us look at the graph of these two so y equals x is this graph and y equals x plus 3 is that one so you can see here one two three units upward or if you go in the left side you can say negative three units or it goes to three units left we'll take now quadratic function so now for the quadratic function you remember y equals x square graph look like this one x squared when it's x squared plus 3 now this graph will move 3 units up so then it will be here for this case strictly we'll be talking about translation in y axis 3 units upward let's look at the graph so this is our original and then it goes three units up and see here one two three so you understand this is going vertically shifted now how it goes to 
horizontally shifted. We'll take more examples. We want to see the transformation of y equals x minus 3 to the 3, y equals x plus 3 to the 3, comparing with y equals x cubed. So we know that y equals x cubed is a cubic function, so the graph looks like this. Now, when it is negative 3, so the graph will move 3 units to the right, so it will like that. So it is x minus 3 to the 3 y equals. This one is y equals x to the 3. Now, if we consider x plus 3 to the 3, so it will move 3 units to the left. So it will be like that. So y equals x plus 3 to the 3. So whatever you see, negative sign, so it moves to the right horizontally 3 units. If it is a plus sign, it moves 3 units to the left or negative 3 units horizontally. Now let us look at this graph in the calculator. So you have our function x to the 3 is 3, x plus 3 to the 3, and x minus 3 to the 3. Let us look at the graph. So this is your cubic graph, the parent one, and then this one is with x plus 3 to the 3, and that one is with x minus 3 to the 3. You can confirm this one looking at function. So trace, first we have x to the 3 and you can see where is the pointer. So this one is x to the 3. Then use up arrow. It is taking you to x minus 3 and you see that where it is. And then again up arrow. So it is going plus 3 and you see where it is. So you can see that. Okay. So we are done with this horizontal translation. Now we'll be discussing the vertical translation. So now this one is outside the function. x to the 3 is my main function. So then it goes vertically 3 units up for this one and this one will be down. So x to the 3 graph will look like this. Passes through the origin. Now when it is plus 3, so it goes 3 units up here. So that one is your x to the 3 plus 3 and then x to the 3 minus 3 will be here. 3 units down. Graph will look like this. We'll check this one in the calculator. So we have our function x to the 3, the parent function, then x to the 3 plus 3 and then x to the 3 minus 3. Let us look at the graph. So x to the 3, this is parent 1 and then this is the 1 goes 3 and up and then 3 units down. And my graph is not with the scale, so it will go like this. Thank you.